heck is happening uh, in Tennessee right now? I think they've been inundated with phone calls for the last several days. I think the logical phone callers have been the New York Jets at six, Chicago at seven. We all know that Chip Kelly's trying to get there in any crazy way he can from 20. But from my perspective, if I was the new head coach and general manager of the New York Jets, I would be all over this opportunity. I've got a pretty good defense. I need an offensive player, and I would be trying to get up and go get Marcus Mariota to be the quarterback of the Jets. And there he is at his party in Honolulu, Hawaii, waiting to hear. No phone pressed to his ear, so his future will be decided in the next four-plus minutes, whether it's at Nashville or some other spot on the NFL. There's no question. And, and this guy's got all the skills. He's got all the ability. When you watch the film, he can make every throw. He's an athletic guy. He's a great leader. He's not a vocal leader. He's a great leader. The guy makes plays in every game. Every game you watch, you see something that makes you say, wow, it's not good. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and I think he can do it. Great upside. Best athlete in the as a quarterback in this draft. You know, you talk about the Jets. They have two quarterbacks that can play right now, Geno Smith and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Maybe they have to trade one of those guys because Tennessee needs a quarterback in this next day or two to compete with Zach Mettenberg. They are they are light on the, on the pitching staff right yep. now. They've got to fix that problem. That said, the St. Louis Rams set the market on what it costs to trade up to the number two spot to take a Heisman Trophy winning quarterback and that's an expensive price. The question is will the Jets or anybody else be willing to pay it. Uh, let's now head to Tennessee right now. Jeff Darlington is our man on the scene. What can you tell us with three and change left on the clock here Jeff. Well, Rich, I spoke to Rustin Webster, the Titans general manager, inside an hour ago, and he told me that he likes both quarterbacks a lot. Now, I recently just spoke to another Titans source just a couple minutes ago. He says they're feeling solid. It looks like they might stay put, Rich. All right, thanks very much. Chris Rose is manning our set inside Grant Park, inside uh, the draft town. That's the draft party in Nashville, Tennessee. A lot of nervous Titan fans wondering what is going on with their franchise. Will they make the pick? Will they trade the pick? If they make the pick, will it be for Mariota? Amongst the 100,000 folks are Michael Irvin, Marshall Falk, Kurt Warner, and you, Chris Rose. All right, Rich Eisen, thank you very much, and welcome to uh, Draft Town USA here in downtown Chicago, Illinois. And guys, very quickly, I know you've been watching all day this number two pick. So uh, what do we think, real quickly, what are the Titans doing? I just don't think you can pass up a uh, potential franchise quarterback, and, and that's what Marcus Mariota is, and I don't think that Tennessee has anything on their roster right now that resembles this kid. You have to go with him if you're Wiz. I have to agree, Marshall. If you believe this guy is a franchise quarterback and you're sitting at the number two spot, these things don't come around very often. So you have to make this move with Marcus Mariota. Even though you may not feel like you have all the pieces around him, it's a great piece to start with and build. And I think Coach Wizenut would do a great job if they choose him. And, and, and continue to put some pieces around him. You know, you marry him up with the young Kendall Wright. Put a couple more receivers around him. Get him a good running back and say, hey, let's go ahead and train this guy up to be what Kurt Warner was for us in Arizona and I think they can do but that. the question is can Wiz go to that system can, right. can he learn some right. of the things and, that Mario did and we know college. he's been very flexible with a lot of different systems whether it was me Big Ben uh, Philip Rivers out in San Diego but this is a whole different beast yes. so it, it, it will be interesting all right guys well uh, we will find out shortly what the Tennessee Titans do at number two back inside to Rich Eisen and the gang. Well they're shaking hands on the in in the C.O. Brocato war, uh, war room named after a scout that's been with the Titans slash Oilers organization for 41 years. Uh, Ken Wisenhunt shaking hands. Everyone's shaking hands. It's a live glimpse. It does it mean that they've traded the pick. The pick is in. And the pick is in still with the Titans logo up here on the screen. So it does appear that the Titans have gone ahead and taken someone, Mark Mayock. Yeah, a couple things. One, Leonard Williams would make a lot of sense on this team. He fits the five technique position like a glove, and they're a base three, four front. He'd be a valuable addition if they don't go Mariota. But if they do go Mariota, don't forget they could trade him later. When the Eagles are on the clock, when San Diego's on the clock, he could be in play all day long. That's, well, well, that's true. That's the way the San Diego Chargers acquired Phillip Rivers back in the day as they, went ahead, they drafted Eli yep. first. And then when the Giants secured the rights to Phillip Rivers, that's when the two teams swap picks. But you'd have to think if the Titans do make this pick with Mariota, 
it would have to be pretty darn expensive even if they start approaching 20th overall. Yeah, that switch between Phillip Rivers and Eli was very expensive right. to move just a couple spots right. to, for 17 San Diego to go all the way up. Too expensive. San Diego needs Phillip Rivers. I'm sure Ray Horton, you know, who coaches a 3-4 defense, would love to trade the pick and start putting that defense <laughs> together. But when they put their, their, their pick in early, it looks like they're just going to go get their quarterback yeah, to me. I, it sure does. Yeah. Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers made Jameis Winston the first ever Seminole taken first overall in a draft. Not even our man Deion Sanders was number one overall in his draft. Now it's time to find out who's number two overall in the 2015 draft. Will it be Marcus Mariota? Will we have two quarterbacks taken to start the 2015 draft here in Chicago where the commissioner has emerged again? With the second pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Marcus Mariotto, quarterback, Oregon. And it is Marcus Mariotto in Hawaii. <laughs> this will be potentially the longest private flight taken by any number two overall pick. The Eagles draft fans at the draft party, the Titans fans are all excited. <laughs> The Eagles fans, are, they don't know what to think. Now maybe you could put the Sam Bradford jerseys up for sale now. Not yet. You, you, shouldn't, put, you shouldn't go buy your Sam Bradford jersey yet? What about all the Cleveland owners? My gosh. So there's the young man. The reigning Heisman Trophy winner is going to Tennessee. All the way from Honolulu, from, from Hawaii to Nashville. He's going to be the guy. So that means that Mettenberger is out. What does that mean? You're going to get yourself a veteran guy to start teaching him how to be a professional in this league? First things first, tell me about Mariota, the quarterback. Uh, Mark, first thing that jumps out with Marcus Mariota is his athleticism. Think Colin Kaepernick. We're going to look at a tape right now that will show exactly what he can and can't do. Colin Kaepernick, the athletic ability just jumps out. Ran four or five. Very long lead, great athlete. Now here's a pump bubble screen, and he's going to throw back shoulder in the corner of the end zone. That is a beautifully thrown football away from the inside corner and inside the sideline. Now every once in a while, he misses a wide open throw, and about once or twice a game, that happens. This is what he's going to have to learn right here. Vision to the right. He's trying to come back to another progression. He doesn't see the hang linebacker in the window. And that's going to be the difficult thing, more and more of those throws. Kurt Warner, your thoughts? Well, I, I agree with Mike. I think there's so much to like about Marcus Mariota that the athleticism obviously jumps off the page, like Mike said. Uh, I think he's got all the tangibles. He can throw the ball down the field. He can be accurate with it. He's very efficient with the football, doesn't make mistakes. The biggest question right now is just how